Greetings, folks. Joseph Kursky here with you to talk about updated public domain data exercises. Now, when the GIS Guide to Public Domain Data Book was published in 2012, written by my colleague Jill Clark and I, we produced an accompanying set of exercises to help illustrate some of the issues that could be encountered when locating, manipulating, and analyzing public domain spatial data, and so on. Among the issues we discussed were the problems of data sources disappearing or data portals that were no longer maintained. As a number of the online resources we used for the original exercises have not been immune to such changes, we have updated the exercises to provide modified or alternative data resources for the activities. The new exercises and the answer key in doc format so you can modify them are available to download from this site here on Google Drive. No password required. Let's take a look at some of those exercises, shall we? One of the things I wanted to point out is that we do have a list of all of the exercises right here. So exercise one is assessing the impacts of potential climate change on coasts, ecoregions, population, and land cover globally. Exercise two has to do with citing an internet cafe in Orange County, California. Exercise three, citing a fire tower in the Luce Hills of eastern Nebraska. Exercise four, analyzing floods and floodplains along the Front Range in Colorado. Exercise five, assessing potential hurricane impacts and hazards in Texas. Exercise six, analyzing land use and sustainability in Brazil. Exercise seven, creating a map for an ecotourism company in New Zealand. Exercise eight, assessing citizen science portals and analyzing citizen science data with regard to invasive species. Exercise nine, investigating three hazards of 2010, the Gulf of Mexico oil spill, the volcano in Iceland, and the Haiti earthquake. Finally, exercise 10, selecting the most suitable locations for tea cultivation in Kenya. So these are the 10 exercises. They span a wide variety of issues, problems, scales, regions of the world, and data portals, and issues along the way. So each one of these, for example, let's take a look at the exercise four, which has to do with analyzing floods and floodplains along the Colorado Front Range. You get a summary, a little screenshot, you get context, you get the problem, the time, the format, the skills required, and then you get a set of work packages where we lead you step by step through the activities. But the activities are more than just how to use GIS. They're designed to help you think critically at each step of the way about data quality. How do I trust that data? How do I use that data to make a decision? And lots of other things. So we hope you enjoy these sets of public domain data exercises designed to help you think critically and spatially get you into solving problems with public domain data and GIS. Thanks.